It has been beautiful this week. It's Wednesday. It's really nice outside. It has been, and it's been really great. I don't know if we're gonna fog up or not. It hasn't been super humid the last couple of mornings, but you never know. Not that big of a temper temperature difference, but it's been really funny, like the last two weeks, we've had all the fog in the mornings because we live off this creek and the creek is always cold. So it's been super interesting. Feels pretty much like the same temperature out here as it was inside. I mowed yesterday and I like, didn't even get sweaty. If you're new here, we moved here to this house in December. So like I've never had fall here. We bought this house last September and then moved in in December. And so this is our first like this season, summer and fall here. And so it's been really funny uh, to just to kind of learn the quirks of the property, but we've really enjoyed it. Good morning, friends. I think mom could have worn a sweatshirt this morning. I'm uncomfortable. It's, it's just a little cool. Cece, you're so tolerant of Twiz and her craziness. Yes ma'am, it's my shouter. Every morning. You guys hungry? Mom's been trying to do some things before she came out this morning, but she's not late, not. The last few videos have only been morning videos because we had family over that stayed and I didn't have time to film. It was dark once they left. So we've been doing the geneal genealogy stuff, like I said in the last video. And so we had like my parents and Jeremy's parents over to do those things. And it, for context, if you've never done it, it's really a lot of fun if you know, you know a couple of things about your like grandparents. And so you can kind of start digging with ancestry is very helpful but like we spent both days like the entire day on one line so like we went down my mom's dad's side and then sunday we went down my mother-in-law's dad's side of the family and like just like his dad's dad and his dad's dad like all the way up there like the last name all the way up so that was pretty fun and cool so that's why videos have been kind of short and today is my last video like when i'm going to be on summer break uh, other than like the weekend videos, this is like week, last weekday video. I go back to work on Monday and today, or on Tuesday and today is Wednesday. So, talk about all of that today. And since it's beautiful, hopefully spend some more time out with these guys. I have like a million things to do, but hard to pass up good weather. cookies yesterday so they're having those pig treats. I can't ever decide if they actually like those or not. They don't seem to mind them. They don't seem to mind them do you bunners. They're just hard. They take them longer to eat so it's kind of harder to get them out the door because they're always just chewing on it. Hello. Versus they'll take those cookies like and shove them in their mouth. They smell them though. They smell really strongly of blueberries. Well, Yanani, you pepper look awful comfortable over there. Right, the exposure is really bright. But they're like laid up next to each other sleeping. I think it's so nice out. They're just kind of enjoying it. What do you think, Link? My sweet boy. Yeah. All right, girls. I think it's gonna be a good day. Gonna have a good day, guys. We are.
Excuse me, miss. Uh, no. Not for Jarrell. Not for Jarrell. Maybe there's nothing for you up there. There's not a big fat thing. There's not. There's nothing for you. Hmm? There's not. I'm so sorry. What, what are you looking for? Hmm? More breakfast? Girl? You don't need any more breakfast. I think you have plenty. I think you have plenty of breakfast. Mm-hmm. I think you have plenty of breakfast. Okay. Yeah. This one. Trouble. Are you trouble? Babe, there's nothing for you to eat. There's just not. You've had your breakfast. Go eat some grass. All day, every day. Even if she gets the lid off, she can't. The problem is the food is heavy enough to she can't pull the bucket and it's too far down in there for her to get. It is. Let it go. Silly girl. You're not starved. You're just silly. Are you guys all getting to have kiddos getting ready to go back to school? I know, depending on where you live in the country, Mississippi is already back. Uh, I think Alabama is back as well. Or is getting there. We Our kids don't go back till the 16th. But we go back Tuesday, so if you didn't know, I'm a school psychologist to work for public school district here. We're already seeing, so like we have like one district I think in the state that went back early. I don't know if they do like year round school. And they're already having like really intense community spread in the school with the kids of COVID and it's really annoying and sad. Because right now they can't even, they can ask the kids to wear masks and the teachers, but they can't require it. And because our legislature passed a law that said school districts aren't allowed to, to do that. No public like gov government run entity is. So they're meeting on that today. I'm anxious to see how it turns out. Hello. Uh, it's the last slobber there, bro. How are you guys this morning? Go ahead now.
I don't know when Luke asserted enough dominance to have a bowl by himself. Hell, it's cooler because they're jumping all over me in wild. Or when it's hot, I feel like they're a little bit more well behaved. They're still a little crazy. Still not my favorite thing being in here with all these male goats. Being in Luke for the most part are great. It's waffles, and I, no matter what I do, I can't seem to break him of the jumping. The way that I did it with Daisy, because she was a bottle baby, which Waffles was not, was I pinched her ears. So I like would twist her ear every time she jumped up. And I don't really like to do that unless I absolutely have to. I don't do it very hard, but their ears, they really don't like you to touch their ears. That cat literally just tried to bowl me over. She's so tiny. You are. Had to pull the hose up yesterday when I mowed. So I've just decided to leave it. There is a lot of grass in both of these pens. Hello, gentlemen. And this is really full. The girls definitely have kept, so their side of the fence, pretty eaten down. But they have the nets, and whenever they're not on back order, we'll have more for the fall. Yep, you can go out if you want. You can. Let's go fill up your waters, okay, Bubba? He's a good boy. So are you. I love, Luke always has this like afro look about him. Luke, I need to take some better pictures of the babies today. Somebody asked me if it's interested in buying one or both of them for a better picture. Guys, it is so hard to photograph goats, especially when you're by yourself. It's just not an easy thing to do. And I understand wanting to know like what you're looking at with the goat. But these babies, I have some better pictures of them when they're really little, but they've grown. Just a challenge. I was not sweating before, but I am sweating now. I'm really trying to enjoy my last couple of days off. I feel like summer has been short and I'm not excited. It's ending. Okay, let's go see if we can take some pictures of these little dudes. I really need them gone. I really need the least amount of animals eating grass. It was my mode, one mode strip. The grass was just getting all up in my ankles. And with these lower, like these ankle shoes that I really have enjoyed. Just get wet. Let's see if we can get a nice, nice good picture of these guys. Come here, Charlie. Come It's in here every day. Leave it alone. Is gonna smell like buck. Uh, I don't even know. I, like, don't even, and now it's stuck on the tripod. This is a mess. Y'all are crazy. I think I got some good shots. Water for girls. So, a couple of things that I did, like housekeeping thing, it is again that transition for me back to full time work. For those of you that don't know, I work full time, like I said, as a school psychologist. And I have loved, loved doing YouTube. Why today, buddies? Why? Oh, wow. He just wow and stinky. Oh, he left Rue. He did. One of the girls must be in heat. You two need to stay in there. It's a lot of sniffing. So I need to move that go through and do that before we end up with the buck in our girl pen here. So a lot of things about my schedule obviously will change. Been at home for the summer. We haven't had a lot of new subscribers over the summer. 
And last summer, I went back after being out forever because of COVID. So definitely more normal kind of transition for me since we actually finished the school year this year. This last year, it's gonna be interesting with this Delta variant for sure, what the year is gonna look like. So for me, going back, there are gonna be a couple of changes to the channel as we go back that we're gonna kinda try just for a couple of months. Okay, none of that. You live over there. Oh, I just smashed my finger. Are they just boys and you're a girl? Hi, they've been over here the whole time. Did you now figure it out? See, possibly. I think they forget sometimes. So I am gonna go down to two videos a week, at least for my transition back to school. My hope is that once I kind of get settled into school, that and I kind of figure out what all this is gonna look like this year, that I'll go back to three videos. But this transition, for some reason, is just kind of weighing on me a little bit heavier than it normally does. I'm just a little bit more anxious about it. And I just want to make sure, number one, that you guys have good videos. And I'm not just putting out a video to put out a video. But the content is good. And I have enough like time for myself to rest. And I know if you watch anybody else on YouTube, they'll tell you, like, there's a lot that goes into this, these videos. If I take my time and really try to do a good job with the editing, these videos take probably between eight and 10 hours from start to finish. So I probably filmed two hours of content to cut that down to between 15 and 20 minutes, edit, create thumbnail, all those things. And I'm not complaining. I really enjoy it. Just telling you it takes a lot of time. And so to work 40 hours a week and then do this for 20 hours a week, it's a lot. So to start the year, just kind of taking some of the pressure off myself, but still getting to do this because this YouTube ends up being like a nice creative outlet for me, for my work. I'm also contemplating changing up our schedule a little bit to do Tuesdays and Fridays. That way I would film Saturday and Sunday, or maybe one day during the week, and then be able to edit, not have to edit on the weekends. Uh, another thing that I guess I should update you guys on is that Jeremy took kind of a different job at his work, and he's having to work right now a little bit more than he was and hopefully he's gonna be able to hire some help soon but it just means that like that time on sunday where i'm normally editing for a monday video i'm not getting to spend with him because i'm working and i'd really like with both of us working that i would really be able to focus on just spending time with him and doing things come on let's go nope i love this and i don't like having attention of like not doing youtube my hope really is after a couple of months of really getting settled into work, that I'll be able to do three videos. But if you follow like Tom Pemberton, who I love, he's a dairy farmer in England. He's hysterical, you should check him out. To do like a bonus video, maybe on Sundays, if we're able to get that third video in during the week, filmed and edited. But that's just gonna give me a little bit of relief going into the school year, just because for some reason this transition back has been, it's just made me super anxious. And I hope you guys will continue to watch our videos once everybody gets back from partying all summer, which everybody apparently has been. Gonna keep you updated, updated on breeding. We're gonna start that in October and all that jazz. What do you guys think? Hi, Dinker. Are you just the prettiest girl? You're my sweet princess, aren't you? You're my only Disney princess. All right, ladies. Let's have a good day.